let us understand what is e-learning. We will see what we mean by e-learning, what are characteristics of e-learning and what are benefits of e-learning. So, objectives of today's sessions are define e-learning, explain the characteristics of e-learning, justify whether e-learning has revolutionized the face of education. E-learning has two parts, e and learning. This e represents electronic. You always use terms such as email, e-commerce, e-media. So the similar term is e-learning, electronic learning. The term electronic is essentially technological term. So e-learning can be said as technology mediated learning experience. What is e-learning? Is it a software? Is it an object? Is it a package? No. E-learning is a concept. E-learning is just used for learning experience. E-learning can be defined as this. The delivery of a learning, training or education program by electronic means. E-learning involves the use of a computer or electronic device. For example, a mobile phone in some way to provide training, educational or learning material. So let us see what all electronic devices are used in e-learning. It can be CD-ROM, it can be internet or intranet based material, it can be audio, video devices, for example video tape or it can be satellite broadcast, interactive television or mobile based content. Apart from these devices, there may be many other devices which necessarily offer any electronic content for delivery. Apart from delivery, there may be some internet based or intranet based communication or maybe mobile based communication. For example, tools such as WhatsApp can also be considered as devices used or tools used for e-learning experiences. In e-learning, there can be three components, content, technology and learning design. We know that in any learning experience, there is interaction between content and learners. This content can be delivered through any technology. This content can be generated also by learners, again through technology. Whether learners are generating some content themselves or whether teachers are giving them some content, some design, planning, instruction is necessary. So learning design becomes third essential component of any e-learning. Let us now discuss characteristics of e-learning. When we say e-learning, electronic learning, we assume that learners are interacting with content or with teachers or with each others independently at their own convenience. So self-learning is involved in e-learning. That's why we use electronic devices so that learners do not necessarily need to be along with teachers or in campus. So self-learning is essential characteristic of e-learning. Apart from self-learning, let us see other characteristics. Learners need to be motivated when we use electronic devices. Because this is self-learning, it entirely depends on learners' motivation, whether they want to learn, they want to access material, they want to interact with somebody or not. That's why motivated learning becomes characteristic of e-learning. Consistent communication is essential in e-learning. If we don't communicate ourselves with teachers, we cannot learn further. Or if learners are not learning, then teachers need to communicate with them. Communication is necessary for teachers also and for learners also. Interaction with content is also essential in e-learning. Content needs to be retrieved, learned. There may be some responses expected. All this interaction needs to be initiated by learners themselves. Flexibility of media is also necessary in e-learning. 
as per requirement, as per availability, need, access, we can use media. Sometimes we use audio files, sometimes we use video, sometimes some PDF documents can be delivered, sometimes there can be synchronous or synchronous communication tools via which we interact. So media is always flexible in e-learning. Content development can be collaboratively done. Some teachers, some experts and also learners come together and they develop content. Let us see some benefits of e-learning. Do we really require e-learning? We mainly require e-learning because e-learning related or e-learning enabled learning does not have any boundaries. Learners can read, access material, learn, interact, communicate anytime, anywhere. Learners have access to material 24 by 7. As I said, learners can access material maybe at midnight, maybe early morning, sitting anywhere, maybe while traveling on mobile without going to campuses. There is consistency in learning. The material can be consistently accessed and there can be consistent communication with learners in e-learning environments. E-learning also saves time and money of learners as well as of institutions. Content can be developed once and delivered again and again. So it saves money. Learners don't need to travel, attend classes. Institutions don't need to create sitting infrastructure and that's how it saves money. It saves time because learners and teachers don't need to come on campus at a particular time. So, these are main benefits of e-learning. 